about a month ago, my husband and I went on a Disney cruise and we flew into Miami. And uh, when we were at baggage claim, we found that our bags were taken, our luggage was taken. And my friend who was traveling with us, she um, had these Apple tags in her luggage. So she was able to monitor her, where her luggage was at all times, but we couldn't. And our airline wasn't very helpful in trying to figure out where it was. Luckily, we had a happy story ending to our story because what happened was someone mistaken our luggage for theirs and they took it, um, but left their luggage behind. So we saw their luggage taken. We were able to call them and it took about maybe two hours, but they were able to come back to the airport and we swapped our luggage. So that got me to thinking that I was very intrigued about these um, Apple tags. And so I purchased quite a few because we're going on another vacation with the kids at the end of May to Disney World. And I really liked the idea of being able to monitor our luggage so that we could, um, if something should happen, we can get it. So I created um, it, two patterns for these luggage, or these um, Apple tags for our luggage. And one is Mickey Mouse themed and the other is Minnie Mouse. So today in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make both. However, if you purchase my design on Etsy, um, you will only get one or the other of the designs. So you won't get both, but today I'm gonna show you how to do both. Uh, the th nice thing about this design is it does fit on a four by four hoop. Uh, if you are doing the single version, like one at a time. Since I'm doing two, I'm gonna use a bigger hoop. Um, it's really easy to do. So if you're new to embroidery and wanna create a product like this, this is, this is an easy way to get your feet wet. Let me think if there's anything else. Um, it's actually really short as well. So yeah, if you're interested, my Etsy store is called Prairie Chic Patterns and you can purchase these designs there. So let's get started. The other thing I like about this design is it's easy to customize. So I'm gonna show you how to do that on one of them. So I'm first going to find my design and here's the Mickey one and I'm gonna open up the mini one as well. I'll show you, do it. Okay, that's the Mickey one. Here is the mini one. Okay, so um, you can customize up here, such as if you wanna put your initials. I am gonna customize the Minnie Mouse one. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So I'm gonna open up the uh, pattern and I'm going to click this A and I'm gonna type my initials, JK. And there is no font that comes with my design when you purchase it, but I love this font from the shop. It's called the Itch to Stitch. And they have, they have a font called uh, Kingdom. And I'm going to use a uh, font size 75 or 0.75 inches. And I am going to place it where I want it. Essentially, this is the front of the tag. And this is the back of the tag. Well, actually, it really doesn't matter because they can you can decide what's the front or what's the back. Okay, so I'm gonna place it like that. And the next thing that you need to do is put it in line. You cannot have your um, personalization at the end of the design. You have to have it before this last step. So I'm just going to move it right there. And if we were to watch it, so here we're gonna watch it. So first it's going to do the placement stitch. So that's the placement stitch for the faux leather and then it is going to this is still the placement stitch right here and this is the placement stitch for the final step of the final sew now it's time to do the mickey mini shape head and that is a satin stitch and then it's also going to do minnie's bow right there And then finally, of course, I'll do my personalization. And I'm gonna slow it down so you can see this very last step. Okay, so it's going, it's going, it's going. So I'm just gonna slew it up a bit. And then this last step right here is a bean stitch. And that's what we'll do is we'll take this part out of the hoop, fold it over, and then tape it right here. I recommend you use some type of cutting machine like a Cricut or Silhouette to cut out the faux leather. Let's see how well my Cricut did. All right, let's take the tape off first. 
good though. This is really good vinyl, whatever. I don't even know where I bought it. It's so good though. This one's cheap vinyl, I got this off Amazon. So you can tell it's cheap because it's thin and then it has like this velvet right here. This vinyl, it's good stuff, is thick. I think I got this on Etsy. Oops, don't forget those stuff. Um, if you use my SVG file, which I highly encourage you to do, um, it also puts, pokes holes through. So I gotta get those holes through. Sometimes I'll just use like a sharp little scissors to poke it through. But see, this cheap stuff gets caught in the back and this, there we go. Versus it just came out so nice with the nice expensive cut. All right, so now I have these two pieces cut out. So we're gonna take it to the machine. Okay, so we're gonna turn on my machine. And we are also going to change out the thread color and I'm gonna go with black since that's our very first thing that we sew. So again, mine is gonna look a little different than yours because I am doing both the Mickey Mouse and the Minnie Mouse uh, designs at the same time. That's why I'm using a five by seven hoop. When you purchase my design, you only get one of them and you can do it on a four by four hoop. So I just wanna show you what both look like at once. So I'm gonna hit embroidery, I'm gonna select my design, and then I'm gonna change out my thread. I'm gonna put this white to the side because I will need the white later. I'm gonna do that as the, um, as the final step thread. If you don't want to use white as the final step, I would change your bobbin color for the final one to match your upper thread just so that it is the same color on both sides. Okay. All right. Okay, I'm gonna select embroidery. Make sure this comes all the way out and shut this and then put my hoop in. So again, mine's gonna look a little different than yours. This first step is a placement stitch. It's gonna place, uh, do um, it twice for me. Yours will only do it once. It's done doing the placement stitches and I'm just gonna cut that real quick. Oops. All right, so um, I have to get this right because I'm doing two, you're only doing one while well, you take your um, fabric and I'm using this fabric for this faux leather for my Mickey design. So I'm gonna put it right where in the center right there and then I'm going to tape it down securely. Okay, and then I'm gonna put it back into my machine. For the mini mouse, I have included a bow and I'm gonna make my bow red. So I have to do a thread change real quick. The Mickey Mouse is done with this step unless you wanted to personalize it. Um, but the mini mouse is just a few extra steps. So she has the bow and then I chose to personalize mine. So we will have to do that as well. This next um, stitch will do my personalization that I made and it does not come with the file. Again, I just wanna reiterate, I got this um, 
I got this font from the Itch to Stitch and it's called Kingdom and I have it in 0.75 size. The next step is to take off our tape and we are going to remove these from the hoop. And I'm gonna use an X-Acto knife to do this. Okay, so then we need to take these off. So it should be easy because they're satin stitches, so it just comes off like that. Make sure you get the center too. And then if you notice there's a little, um, little extra thread here, I would snip that. And do that for the Now we're gonna take our design and we are just going to fold it over like this and look for the holes are matching and then just bend down and then we are going to place it where the hole is okay as centered as possible and then tape this down i suggest putting the tape at the top just like like that and then, I need a little bit longer tape. I would also include one at the bottom, just so it doesn't shift. This is thicker vinyl, so it might need a little bit more than my other one. Oh, that looks good. I'm gonna change my thread out again because I want it to be white for this. All right, this is really quick. It's just going to do a bean stitch down here. Okay, it's time to take off all the extra tape. And then take it out of the hoop. What we're going to do is clean up some of these back stitches. Out. And then clean up these extra stitches. Okay, so if we did this right, which we did, um, the top will have a gap like this. And what you do is you take one of your um, apple tags and you just shove it in there. And it should be a little tight because I made this so that it's pretty secure, so it's not easy to fall out. Well, it won't, it'll be impossible to fall out. Then you take one of these keychains, rings, and then you find where that top hole is. Oops. Just like that. And then you just roll it through. And now you have your luggage tag. Yep, that's how easy it is. Thanks for watching how to make these luggage tags for your Apple tags. Super easy to do, quick project. You can make a bunch in an afternoon. And hopefully you will not have the same issues that we had when we were traveling and someone grabbing our bag by accident. Thank you for watching.